Hey friends, welcome to A Little Of It All. My name is Taylor. Thanks so much for hanging out today. I'm so grateful that you're here. If this is your first time stopping by, I would love it if you stayed a while. Be sure to subscribe and check out that description box. It's just gonna tell you a little bit more about what we have going on over here. We're all about zero-based budgeting and cash stuffing, but I do love A Little Of It All. Friends, we are starting with some happy mail in this budgeting video. If you guys remember a couple of weeks ago, I unboxed the calculator from Cheeky Treasures, just the most gorgeous calculator you've ever seen. Well, the calculator glitched out on us so hard. Chicky and I tr both tried to work with it. We couldn't get it fixed. So I reached out to her and I said, hey, I need a calculator, please. It's so beautiful. I can't be without one of your creations. And so this is what she sent me. We're going to unbox it together. I've just got everything open to make it a little bit easier. So let's see what is in here. Of course, the feathers. Once again, I just love that touch. That's so fun and different. This looks a little bit more than a calculator. I'm so excited to see. Okay, we're gonna start with the little one first. I just love all of the little touches that she does. The little peace signs are falling out everywhere. Who doesn't love glitter? I mean, some people, I guess they don't, but I do. I think they're so fun. I think it's so cute. Okay, so she says, thank you for choosing Chicky Treasures. Love, Chicky. And then look at this. It is my last name. I don't know, like, do we show our last names on the internet? I don't I don't know. I'm still unclear on that. If, if you guys say yes, it's fine. Cool. If not, I just, I don't know. So I'm going to hide it for just for right now. But I want you guys to see the details here. Like, look at how beautiful this green is like so my color and this gorgeous little heart I love it and then the little cross oh my gosh the attention to detail she did this for me oh how sweet it's for my keys at school because I'm a teacher I just love this this color though y'all I feel like this is probably glow in the dark too I'm gonna have to test it out but just look at this so so gorgeous and then look at cutie little keychain, the little paw print. Uh, oh, we have three pepperos. We've got two beagles and then our Samson boy. Look how sweet that is. Chicky, thank you so much. That is definitely going on my keys. Super excited about that. What? Just like so thoughtful. You're just so thoughtful, my friend. Thank you so much. And here we go. Little ASMR moment. Okay, I'm so excited, I can't wait. Look at this, <gasps> look at this bag! Oh my gosh! Uh, she put my name on it, a little of it all with the rhinestones. Oh, I love this, Chicky. Just look at all of the thoughtful, intentional details here. And then Chicky Treasures covered in couture. These bags are so so sweet. Like this took so much time and intentionality. Like, oh, okay. <gasps> Let's look at the calculator. Oh, and then the green to match the calculator. <gasps> look at this. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm gonna have to put my little bag somewhere where I can see it all the time. Maybe put like pins or something in there. I just love it so much. Look at this. Oh heavens. This is a beauty. Look at these. So the stones that I chose were um, Cinderella and Mermaid. Like she did like a combo of both. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh, I love, look. Oh, I cannot wait to use this in our budgeting video. Just gorgeous. And then the little details right here, stunning. Stunning work, my friend. You are a gem and the attention, like, and then it goes like to little stones right here. I don't know. It's, I'm trying to show it up on and then in between. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh, I love this so much. Thank you so much, Chicky. Let's go ahead and just jump right in and get into our budgeting video so we can use this beauty. I'm in love with this so much. You are so fantastic. Okay, guys, we are budgeting March's first paycheck. This is my paycheck. Let's give it a peek -aroo. Okay, so just our yearly view. This hit the account the last day of February, so on the 29th. We are well into March. You guys know we're just trying to stretch our money as much as we can. It is currently... 
the 16th, I believe. We do know that Scott did get paid yesterday. Thank you guys so, so much for counseling me on payroll and all of that jazz. You were such a big help. You were right. He got paid for one week. And so then his next check should be for two weeks. However, there was kind of like a weird discrepancy with disability pay and like when he very first got back to work, he was getting paid for disability pay and work pay or something. And so they're taking money out of his 30th check or no, 29th check. I'm trying to keep it all straight. I'm, it's very confusing. And so we did get a, another disability check that we'll probably just add in for the check on the 29th. I know it's not making a lot of sense right now, but let's flip over to March. So this is kind of my March layout right now. So I will get paid on the 22nd. I am officially on spring break at intercession. I've got two weeks off. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so we will be doing lots of house, like clean up and set up and all that jazz. And I'm just so thankful for the way that that time worked out. So Scott did not get this paycheck. He got half of this paycheck. And so he will get a paycheck on the 29th, but again, it will be deducted. So what I'm thinking is, because we have not touched my check from February 29th is, we're still gonna be doing bare bones budgeting all the way through March. Then hopefully we will be done with that. And when April rolls around, we'll be back on track, back to normal. So you guys stick with me. We're gonna make it through this. I'm so thankful for this system and like budgeting out each paycheck the way that we do, because even though the beginning of this year has been very stressful with like pay and what are we getting paid and all of that jazz doing it this way has like saved me so much more stress than it would be. I hope that makes sense. Like it, it hasn't been just a walk in the park, but it has been so much easier because we have been cash stuff it, stuffing and budgeting by paycheck and budgeting out our money. And so it's just been, I'm very thankful that, that we've been doing this. So if you're hesitating, go ahead, get it started my friend. It is going to be one of the best decisions you've ever made. So let's hop in. So this is going to be March paycheck number one. Now, here is what we're going to do. <laughs> you guys know I've been doing things really weird lately. Just bear with me and we'll get back on track in April. So this was bu budgeted on the 29th. I am not going to budget our full amount. So what I mean is I am a high school teacher. I get paid once a month. My husband gets paid twice a month. We are both salaried employees, but you guys know with his disability pay, you know, things have been a little wonky. I get paid once a month, $2,681. Okay. This is my paycheck. However, because our paychecks are still a little wonky with my, on my husband's side, I am still going to bare bones budget this paycheck and leave money in our account to help supplement his two paychecks for March. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense in my brain. So even though I am getting paid $2,681, I'm not going to budget that amount. We're just going to stick with <laughs> what we've been budgeting. And we already know if you guys have been watching, I'll link my budgeting playlist here so you guys can see the Bare Bones budgeting series and then see how we normally budget. But so we've been budgeting $492 in cash. So with that being said, let's look at our first of the month bills and let me show you what's going to be coming out of this paycheck. So our first of the month bills include tithe, part of our mortgage. So some exciting things happened. We got rid of our storage units. So that's $140 back into our account. And then we canceled Universal Yums and that's $45 back into our account. Thank you, Jesus. So I am taking a little bit more money out of our first paycheck. I think last time I took out $850. This time I'm going to take out out of my paycheck $925 and see how that kind of works with us. We'll probably do this in March and in April because April will have normal paychecks. March is still going to be a little bit wonky. So we'll see how that kind of helps us with our last two paychecks, being able to still do savings challenges and things like that. So we're starting with $925 in our mortgage plus the first part of our tithe, trash, MPE, our one storage unit that we are keeping, water, electricity, gas, internet, and Canva. So all of that added up together plus our puppy pills. I went ahead and paid for our puppy pills out of our check card this month um, because, you know, the first of the month came and we hasn't, haven't budgeted this check yet. So all of that added together is a grand total of $1,774. And all of these two numbers added up together is going to be $2,000. $266 that we're actually budgeting today. So that is going to be left in our account to supplement our other paychecks. That's going to be, I'm just going to make a little note right here. 
$415 left in account for other paychecks. Okay. I know this is crazy. <laughs> I know this is really wild, but this is what we're doing. This is what is making sense to us. So for bills purposes, this check needs to last us until the 15th and then we'll roll on with the next set of bills. So let's go ahead and budget out our money. We know we are not doing challenges for right now. Super pumped for April. Really excited to get back on track. We'll probably do a bigger stuffing for our challenges, like what I've scratched off, maybe plus a 20 in every one of them to kind of get back on track and get those maybe a little bit more stuffed up. Let's go ahead and budget this out, 492. So we're starting with grocery in our wallets. We both get $25 four groceries in our wallet and then the binder the sinking funds binder gets hundred and fifty dollars this is just for little grocery runs for instance this past week i ran out of creamer so i had to run to the store and grab some creamer and i just used the grocery money from my wallet when we do our like big like we've made a list and we're going to walmart we're doing our grocery haul that's when we pull out of here if we need to supplement our grocery haul with money from our wallets we will because this is like joint money this is not like individual money then we'll do that. So we have minus $200. So perfect gas. We are getting 50 and 50. We have honestly been going over on our gas budget just to be transparent with you guys. You know, we've been moving back and forth a lot. We still have stuff that we're having to clean and do at the trailer where we've been living. So we have had to put a little bit of money for gas on our credit card, but that's okay. I know once everything gets settled, we'll be back on track with that. So that's minus 100. And then for household, we are doing $10 each in our wallet and then $30 into the binder. Pups, a pups is a necessity for us. So our pups, they are getting $20 in their puppy envelope and $30 for food. So that should be a total of 50. Perfect. Okay, so that is our main priorities taken care of. We've got our bills taken care of. We start with that first and foremost with the money that we have left in our account to be auto drafted out. Next, we've taken care of our necessities. We can eat, our pups can eat, we are good to go. We've got gas to be able to travel to work. Everything else is just kind of gravy, like I say, after that. We are gonna go ahead and stuff our annuals. You guys know we have not been stuffing body. We'll add body back in in April, but we are doing Prime, our VPN, Sam's, and P.O. Box. And these numbers are 12 and then 555. Five, five. Let's stuff up a couple of our sinking funds. We're just doing like top priority, high priority ones. We'll put five in prescriptions. So that's minus five. Eating out, we're gonna put five just to give us a little bit of something if we need to run and grab something. Then we'll put 10 in car maintenance and five in medical. So that is a total of 15. And then we are rounding everything out over here on our wallets. We'll both get $10 for spending and then $10 for toiletries. And that is a total of $40. And my friends, that is a crazy zero based budget. I know it was wild, <laughs> but we got there. Let's go ahead and fill out our teller slip. I've been super chatty this video. I'm not going to make you watch me fill out my cash breakdown sheet. We are using our teller slips from the Aesthetic Dollar. Just going to pop this right into my bank bag and I am ready to head to the bank. Pumped to get that paycheck stuffed, you guys. Make sure you subscribe and hang out so we can do that together. Thank you so much for spending this time with me, you guys. So, so thankful for you. Don't give up doing great things, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.